Hello guys, today we're making a red uh, copa. Uh, so, this is what you need. I'm gonna use this the whole bag. It's called uh, Jerish. Uh, so, all you need is this one bag. So, I have this bag that is two pounds, and I'm gonna use all of it. And you need three chicken breasts for the stuffing. It's the best dish, Iraqi dish. So here we go. I'm chopping up my three chicken breasts real fine. And this is what you need to cut like this. And I'm gonna wash it and we wanna start it. Two green shards. Yeah, and then after that you're gonna cut it and I know it looks a lot but they're gonna shrink. So you first cut the bottom and you throw it and then you leave all this and you cut them like maybe um one finger inch like that. So then wash it and cut it and prepare it. This is how it one onion chopped like this and three chicken breasts that chopped wash and black pepper turmeric uh curry this is the type i use for all my food and salt uh, you can first use everything one teaspoon and then go ahead taste test it if you need more you can add two three uh just the way your flavor you like so here we go Okay, now I have cooked my onion for two to three minutes. Next, you're gonna go ahead and put your chicken breast and cook it until all the way cooked. In high heat, you cook your chicken too. Then we're gonna put our spices when the chicken is all cooked through. Now my chicken is all done. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and put all the seasoning that I need. So the curry powder is three spoons. I'm going to put it. One, two, and three. Okay, three spoons, teaspoon. That was the curry powder. No, turmeric, uh, turmeric is two, two teaspoons. One, two. Black pepper, one teaspoon. One teaspoon black pepper. Salt, at first you can do one teaspoon and a half. One teaspoon and a half. Okay? I think it's good. Then you stir it, you cook it for one minute and you taste test it. If the taste is good, good. If if you need more salt, more seasoning, you can go ahead and put it. Optional. Also you can go less. 
the seasoning, the pen. You can do one spoon for it. If you want more, you can go ahead and add it. Or you can follow what I did. Okay, now this is done. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it off and leave it until it's cold. So I can stuff my copa. Okay, this is it. My filling is done. After 30 minutes now, I come, I see my dough. And now you do it like this and make it as a dough, okay? until this is a, become soft. You gotta do it until soft. Perfect water, you just need maybe uh, uh, two, three more spoons while you need to keep doing it until it's soft. But this is perfect. I have kneaded for five minutes and keep doing it like this over for five minutes until the dough is like this. So this is basically the I have put only three spoon of water after I knead it. This is done. So what you're gonna do? You're gonna after that, you're gonna touch the water like this and make your hand wet so it don't stick. And you get a you get um, a circle ball, and then you go like this, roll it. Kind of messy. Then you put your little thumb in there and you circle. You push it and you circle and you press it. And that's the pocket the meat go in. So when the meat go in, you close it. You go like this, circle it, go like this, and flip it. And this is what you get. Or you could just do circle, close it and circle. This is it. So we're going to start doing it. And make a ball. I put it in a place because it's cool enough now. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to stuff it. I'm not going to dump it in. I'm just going to, every time when I make a ball, I'm going to uh, make my hand wet. I'm just, dip it. Dip your hand like this. And then I go like this. Make my hand wet. And then I get a hot ball. Like this. doesn't matter the, how much. You want like this. And you circle it. So it don't stick on your hand. And then you get your little thumb and you push it and you circle it. Push it and circle it. Push it and circle it. Until you have a pocket. So when you have a pocket, you get a meat and stuff it as much as you like to stuff it. Okay? So when you stuff it, you're going to put your hands again on the water. Just those. Make it wet and then close it. Close it like this this is an extra you can take it off and grab it and then what you're gonna do get some more water in here and you're gonna do it like this this is how you do it you can do smaller bigger um, that's it that's how it is you see beautiful okay guys this is all done so I have did all of it the chicken and the dough was perfect, nothing left. So this is it. So if you don't want to do all of it, you're a small um, uh, people, you can put the whole tray in a freezer. Then you can get them out and put it in a freezer bag, Ziploc it, and save it. You can do it each day. You can do it for your four or five, but I have a big family. So I'm going to do all of it today. But uh, for you guys, you can freeze it also. So yeah, here we go. Uh, chart that I cut and wash 
and then salt, two tomato base, and secret acid. Acid. Okay? So that's what we need. You're gonna add your oil. Okay? And my two tomato paste. Of water, okay. I have 10 cup of water, and let me see if I need more. Okay, this is 10 cup of water, that's all I need, and then also uh, two to three tablespoons. How much you want sour and citric acid? That is this. So, I'm gonna use three spoon and then also uh, four spoon of salt. And tablespoon of salt and I'm gonna taste this to see if I need more. Now I'm gonna cover it. Taste all the seasoning is good. Then I'm gonna let it boil for 30 to 25 minutes. Let the water boil so I can add my other now stuff. my water is boiling I'm gonna put my green shard all of it. I know it's looked a lot but I'm gonna put all of it it's gonna shrink I'm gonna leave it to cook for five to six minutes. Okay guys, now after five minutes, it's look like soft then. My charred chart. And now I'm gonna put my copa. I'm gonna put all of them in there and then slowly, what you do is drop them slowly by slowly and you leave them and don't stir it and I'm going to go ahead put all of them and let you know. Now all my uh, copa is in there and I have not stirred it and left it boil for one minute then slowly I stir it not too much move around slowly because if you stir it too much what's going to happen they're going to break and this is it. Just give them a little stir and leave it. And you leave it and let it cook for 30 minutes. And that's it. Okay, after 30 minutes, this is it. It's done. So my kuba is done. My chart is done. The soup is taking it up. So it's perfect. So yeah, I'm going to turn my heat off and I'm going to plate it. This is it. It's done. This is it. I put it in a plate and we're going to enjoy it. So hope you guys like it. Comment below, subscribe, like, and let me know what else I can make it. Easy and enjoy. Bye.